Rob Fink is here and I'm down in Florida where I've just completed all of the kickoff classes for the 2015 Personal Defense Network training tour. Now if you're not familiar with the tour and you don't know what this vehicle is all about, every year I do a cross country drive that starts down here in Florida and ends in the Pacific Northwest and I do about 30 stops teaching a different variety of classes every year to bring the information that we provide at Personal Defense Network through DVDs, through online video, and through articles to classrooms, lecture halls, and of course ranges all around the country. And I'm joined by other Personal Defense Network contributors as well as they put on classes in a lot of different regions including some of the same places I go and some places that I can't reach on my drive. Now every year we have sponsors and our sponsors are incredibly important because they help us bring the training to smaller classes and more remote areas than we normally would go to as part of our normal training businesses outside of PDN. This year our sponsors that are returning for the firearms, our CMMG for the rifles, and Springfield for our pistols. Crossbreed Holsters is one of our sponsors that's been here since the beginning, as has Gun Vault, Gun Vault storage products, of course, for quick access to defensive firearms. Meridian, Breakthrough, Liberty Ammunition, and Benchmade are all new sponsors, and you're gonna learn more about them and our existing sponsors as the tour goes on. Every week, I'll do a video update giving you some training information, maybe some product information, some more information about our sponsors and how they fit into the Personal Defense Network world and what we recommend that you consider for your needs when it comes to personal home security. And that'll come to you through Personal Defense Network and all of our social media. You're also gonna be learning and hearing from the other instructors that are out on the road, Omari Broussard, Derek Poole, who got the whole tour started this year, Caleb Causey, Mike Seeklander, Lee Vernon, Jamie Onion, Grant Cunningham, and I'm sure there's a few that I'm uh, not remembering that are out there as well. Take a look at personaldefensenetwork.com, hit the training tab, learn more about the tour, and then check out the calendar link to see what training is going on in your part of the world or a part of the world that you might think is worth visiting to get your opportunity to train with me and the other PDN contributors. Now in today's update, you're going to get to see some stuff that we taped that's going to be part of a DVD being released later this year year just in case you thought it might be a good idea to hide behind a vehicle door as cover watch this video you might think again all right so one of the things we do when we're out here on the personal defense network training tour of course is tape for personal defense network so you can see we got the crew over here and we're just getting set up we're doing a big dvd on vehicular defense with long guns so when you're in the public space if you have a rifle or if you're around your house or of course if you have your rifle in your car and you pull it out during some kind of a spree killing event then there's going to be vehicles in the environment so we're talking about positional shooting and things like that um, this car has actually been quite beat up as you can see um, we've done some skip demos we've talked about what happens when you don't uh, count for that vehicle hood when you're close to it you could get skip and splash into you and of course when you're trying to use the car as a brace or if you're just behind the car using it as some kind of cover how you can skip rounds off there if you aren't thinking about that vertical offset. What we're about to do is check and see what happens shooting through car doors. Now, obviously with this old beat up Saturn, we're not even really dealing with sheet metal in the doors. We've got uh, plastic. You can see what that looks like here. So this is actually uh, just you know, a heavy duty plastic, but there are metal parts in there. So car doors are something that's really unpredictable. So we've got a piece of white paper here on the other side. I'm gonna shoot some rounds through this door. I'm gonna shoot some Winchester PDX-1 uh, Defender rounds out of an AR. We've got uh, actually my new CMMJ. I'll let you see that in a second and we're going to be shooting through here just to see we're going to shoot five rounds we'll see what happens on the other side and again knowing that this is a car that's generally weaker than the standard vehicle that you're going to find in the public space and that you might think about using as cover when it may simply be concealment all right we're going to use the green laser to indicate where these shots are going i'm just going to spread them out a little bit because we don't know exactly where the the hard parts are and where the soft parts are all right, so as you saw, I went ahead and did those shots and we've debriefed it on the real cameras. Now for you guys watching this weekly update for the PDN training tour, you can see we got some shrapnel and pieces, all kinds of pieces in there. And over here, what you can see is that we've got two holes, two exits. So of those five shots, two went through. And again, this is with the Saturn. Now other cars are gonna be different, but two out of five shots, not odds I'm willing to live with. I'm not gonna count on car doors as being covered. Now sure, we got the engine block, the axles, the transaxle, the wheels, the disc brakes, all that kind of stuff, but I'm not gonna count on car doors or any of the sheet metal, or in this case, the sheet plastic on the Saturn to stop bullets that are being fired at me and neither should you.